welcome welcome back entertainment daily lovers let's analyze jd's last live stream he's been doing lots of posts he's been dragged for his recent post he deleted it posted and hailed his friend all of that we will get into momentarily but welcome welcome if you're just joining we are analyzing his last live stream that he did he's done other posts for live stream that was the last one he did and we're going to listen to him and dissect that live stream don't forget to subscribe turn on your bell notification so you don't miss whenever we drop a new video that being said let's get right into jd's video right now and this madness um i have to actually issue an apology to all everyone that's been following my story um because i okay so i decided to start this from here and he's talking about he's trying to give an apology he titled this a gratitude video right but he's still talking about trying to end this madness when you hear people say jd is always manipulating or being manipulative people like y'all are just exaggerating y'all are just blowing this out of proportion and in this madness don't forget that jd was the first person that brought his private family issues online okay just remember that just get consumed into the negativity for a while i mean and that and i think that would happen to anyone honestly you know for about two years i didn't defend myself i can remain completely silent i was trying to take the hype all right so he said he got consumed into the negativity for two years he didn't speak he was trying to take the high road <laughs> who spoke first jd who brought this whole thing and kept going back and forth like nobody but remember the ex-wife didn't speak even when nancy came out to speak earlier on during this whole saga nancy said please respect our privacy we're trying to sort this privately right but jd said no 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 they're begging me i'm not agreeing and he kept on going if you go through the timeline you will discover that jd has never been silent since this whole thing started meanwhile cora was the one that was silent and when it was time for her to speak she wrote a book so here is another lie and him being manipulative and every single time i'd get on social media i would just be bombarded with negativity allegations just so much hate and i thought that i was strong enough and now remember jd is talking about every time he gets online but don't forget that jd was the one roaming around all bloggers every post you will see him cussing out his ex-wife there in the comment section anywhere cora's name is mentioned anywhere cora's photo is posted jd will be in there on blogs saying all manner of but now he is saying that it was him that people were attacking whenever he came online that is another huge fat lie and trying to buy or curry sympathy from people that don't know the full story had a good enough protective shield and believed in myself and my purpose and what i was doing for myself and my kids that i could just ignore it and the truth is is when people are projecting negativity to you for a long time over so let's say years it really does beat you down um over time and and, and i i didn't realize how i i did like a a retreat last weekend had a bunch of like so now jd is trying to push the blame onto his ex-wife and all the people that sees the truth well who started this negativity who started projecting ne negativity jd projected negativity negativity to his ex-wife and to the ex-wife's family and to anybody that was connected directly or indirectly to this their saga when initially started why is jd you might want to ask why is jd sounding this way now jd is sounding this way now because the table is turning open your eyes very well the table is turning and that's why he is now playing the victim meanwhile he is the aggressor in this case okay so let's 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 do kind of healing stuff going on some cleanse like lots of cleansing <laughs> um cleansing. and i had a group of energy healers and just it was just a complete retreat retreat away from my 
from away from all this toxicity and just kind of cleanse all that negative energy. And it really made me understand just how negative I was becoming as a person. And, and, um, now, this statement of how negative I was becoming as a person is not about how negative he's becoming as a person, but is how negative you are as a person and still is. This is something that is part of this man, and it is obvious by his actions, okay? Now, I was fixating on the negativity because it was just always in my face, whether it was on social media or off social media with what I'm dealing with in the courts. It was just a toxic cesspool that I couldn't escape. And it was affecting actually every aspect of my life. My relationship with friends, um, uh, relationships failed. Like, it, negativity really, really drags you down. And... I just realized like how much I was becoming a person that I just like talking about negativity really drags you down this man's goal was not achieved the way he wanted it to he wanted it to go he wanted everybody to focus on his ex-wife believe everything that he's saying and go on and drag Cora but because people started realizing that there is more to the story he's telling people now started questioning him he is now under fire and he cannot take it and you see that happening with his gang members also those of them that are now under the fire they're now screaming crying talking about how they've confessed they've apologized they've done this no the energy that you've put out there the negativity it is coming back to haunt you so enjoy it okay you started it enjoy it didn't like and i'm so thankful for the reset and i'm gonna focus on the positivity that comes up that comes all you guys on here just being warriors of the light and good and positivity, empathy. I have so much gratitude for all of you. Now, is it possible for JD to focus on positivity, the light and all of this he's talking about? The answer is N O no huge no several times over the years JD have actually told us that I'm going back to my educational content. I'm going to do this. Even if he wants to be a life, a lifestyle vlogger, whatnot, do that vlog about your life talk about your chiropractor job and whatnot that is not something that jd is capable of doing because the goal is the many the major the, the, the main problem that jd has with his ex-wife is the fact that she makes more than him and he just cannot fathom that he just cannot understand how she's got all those people supporting her and watching her and he has got nothing so if jd is not gonna make what she's making jd don't want her to make anything jd wants to reduce her to zero so every time he tells you i'm going back to my chiropractor job he comes right back to dragging the ex-wife do you understand so he will say this again but you will see that he will continue dragging his ex-wife and he will not stick to his word as he's never done over the years um, that that can see what's happening and just and just say no um like i'm honestly speechless at at this stuff i had no desire to ever be famous i have no desire to ever have a large social media following it was never part of my journey i was always just i was always just an educator um and i guess this is just my life path i guess this is now again this is not true if you refer to you just go back a little bit to the new people he wanted to recruit Rene and Rene's brother mm -hmm. listen to the statement that JD made when he came into the live stream and greeted Rene what did he say to Rene he said I checked your page you create lifestyle content family and whatnot that is what I wanted to do you know blaming the whole thing that went south on his ex-wife so talking about i never wanted a large following i never wanted this i never wanted that he keeps contradicting himself now that brings us to where you hear people calling him a liar because he keeps contradicting himself he says one thing and then five minutes later he says something else because when you lie a lot you cannot remember the next lie sometimes to use to cover the previous lie and then the truth will finally come out something that i just i didn't seek out but here it is so i uh, i really appreciate all of you i i know I, i've 
been on live in the past and I fixated on the negativity. And it's, it's really easy to get sucked in by negativity when it's just surrounding you like a storm cloud. It's like if you walk out in the, um, you walk out in the rainstorm, even if you have all the protective gear that you can, eventually you're going to get wet. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I'm just mm. I, complete and utter emotional, spiritual, psychological reset last weekend, which is what I needed. Oh, that is not He's going to go and uh, I'm so thankful for just all of you that have just been there. If I need to defend myself, I still will because I because this problem. Is if I need to defend myself, I still will. This guy will post few videos. He will see that there is no traffic. He will return back to what he used to do. Watch out for the next part as we'll be posting this in part. This is a long live stream, so we'll do it in part. Thank you. Subscribe.